Final Cut Pro 11.1 is here. And while this isn't a massive update like I know a lot of us are waiting for, there are some welcome new additions to Final Cut Pro as well as a whole range of bug fixes. The first update is a long overdue one. And although we've been able to add our own custom adjustment layers in Final Cut Pro since forever in the title effects in the browser window, Apple has now made adjustment layers or what they're calling adjustment clips native to Final Cut Pro. Nothing groundbreaking, but it's nice to have. And what I really like is that you can add an adjustment clip using the shortcut option A, or you can find it in the edit menu right down here where it says add adjustment clip. If you're not familiar with adjustment clips, what they allow you to do is to add effects to that layer, which will then affect everything below it. So for example, if I threw a custom LUT effect on here and added my fire and ice LUT, everything underneath the adjustment clip would have that LUT applied to it. Apple is dipping its toes into AI powered creative tools and we're getting the first taste of it with something called Image Playground. Think of it as a way to generate stylized images based on a prompt, a concept, or even people from your photos library. It's definitely a fun addition, but honestly, the results aren't that great, yet. I do think that Apple will continue to improve this over time, and if we can get some cool results like you do from Mid Journey, for example, without leaving Final Cut Pro, then it's definitely something I can see myself using. Image Playground does require a Mac OS 15.2 and an M1 Mac or later, so make sure you're up to date if you want to use this. For those of you already using the magnetic mask, you're in luck because Apple has made a few improvements in 11.1. I'll hit Control Command M to add a magnetic mask and select my subject here. When you hit Analyze, you might notice that they've improved the tracking performance, which is great. In the past, if I deleted my magnetic mask, this magnetic mask editor would stay visible. If I delete it now, the magnetic mask editor goes away. Now, if I undo that to bring the mask back, I can show you a new shortcut to show and hide the magnetic mask editor, which is Control Option Command M. If this is not working for you and you are using a custom keyboard setup like I am, then you'll need to head over to Final Cut Pro, Command Sets, Customize, and search for Magnetic Mask Editor. And with Show Hide Magnetic Mask Editor selected, you can hit the shortcut Control Option Command M to add it. This is true whenever Apple adds new shortcuts, you'll need to add them yourself to your saved custom command set. You might need to do the same for the adjustment clip. Again, the shortcut for that is option A. We've also got a new audio effect, Quantic Room Simulator, which is essentially a great reverb plugin. I'll head over to my audio effects and search for Quantic, and then I can drag and drop it onto my dialogue or sound effects. This lets you create natural sounding reverb that simulates real acoustic spaces. There are loads of different presets to choose from, and you can customize the settings to your liking as well. This is awesome for getting your dialogue or your sound effects to better match the scene that they're in. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Brad, and we do fun Final Cut Pro things on this channel, so make sure you're subscribed. Now for some smaller but handy improvements. You can now rename audio effects in the inspector window to keep things organized, which is especially helpful if you're stacking multiple effects. You can reveal the source of a multicam or sync clip in the browser with the shortcut Shift F. You are always able to do this because Shift F reveals the clip in the browser, but I guess now it selects the exact range of that clip that's used in the timeline in the browser window. Unless you had Command Post installed, up until now it was impossible to move markers. In the latest update, we can move markers around a clip, which is a welcome addition, and you can only move a marker along the clip that it's attached to. You can't move it from clip to clip. You can also lift the marker off the clip that it's attached to, to delete it. And of course, there's a whole bunch of bug fixes, some of which are a big deal if they've been messing with your workflow. I'm not going to list them all here. You can pause on this screenshot or click on the link down below to see Apple's release notes. This might not be a flashy update, but I'm glad to see some long awaited features to be added natively into Final Cut Pro. Features like the adjustment clips, movable markers, and the magnetic mask improvements are quality of life changes that are always welcome. But I would love to see some massive updates like Resolve users are seeing. The latest update to Resolve introduced over 100 new features like text-based editing, speaker detection for auto-cutting multicam clips, AI music editor, beat detector, and more. Those are the kind of updates that I hope to see in future in Final Cut Pro. Comment down below with what your favorite new feature is or what you're still waiting for in Final Cut Pro. Oh, and before you update, please, 
please go ahead and watch this video about how to back up Final Cut Pro and your projects so that you don't lose your work. You always want to have the option to roll back to a previous version, so that is a must watch before any update.